Good morning, children. We have started doing the poem Winter, and we shall continue with the last two stanzas of this beautiful poem that describes the beauty of winter. The poet talks about the two plants that flower in the winter season rye and mustard. The poet uses images like bands of yellow color to help us visualize the fields. The use of the phrase acre on acre of light helps em emphasize the color of the mustard fields. The description of the world as being half covered by mustard helps us understand that a large percentage of the field around the poet is covered with mustard. The poet describes the mustard plant as streaking through the countryside. This helps us understand the speed of the mustard plants as they spread across the countryside. The use of the words like slither and splash to describe the manner in which the mustard plant grows and spreads across the fields helps us visualize it as a creature that is moving continuously. Now let us continue with the poem. And yet the fire is cold, my dear, as any cold night would warn you. The other characteristic of this time of the year is cold. The poet says, the bitter cold makes the fire seem ineffective and, and unable to provide sufficient warmth. And so the poet says, a dry leaf fire, a rice straw fire, will certainly not burn you. The fire, which is not that warm, it seems cold. And a dry leaf and rice straw fire, it is not enough to burn you. A dry leaf fire, a rice straw fire, will certainly not burn you. Music lovers shiver and quite forget to sing. The ground has turned so hard indeed, the watchman's footsteps ring. The poet says, This cold causes many changes in the lives of people. It causes music lovers to forget singing. Turns the ground hard, so hard that you can even hear the watchman's footsteps ring. The sesame has ripened. There's a white touch to the grass. The poet here talks about the sesame, also known as sesame, that has ripened. And therefore now the grass looks white as the flowers of a sesame are white in color. The whitening of the grass along with the comparison of the grass to the glass brings alive the sense of the freezing winter. Walk carefully, says Scarecrow. The dew has turned to glass, but it won't last forever. Winter too shall pass. The Scarecrow, who watches over the fields, has seen the different seasons come and go. The poet also reassures that people that everything changes and this cold winter too shall pass. And so this brings us to the end of this poem with a beautiful line that winter too shall pass. The poet not only talks about winter here, he also talks about the difficulties that do not last forever. Just like winter time and it changes and a new season comes along our way. In the same way, difficult days also do not last forever and they and they and we move ahead for good times. So children, this was the end of a very beautiful poem on winter. We shall continue with our lessons and uh, I'll get back with a new video on a new topic. Thank you so much. Enjoy reading the poem winter.